Hey guys, this is Strider Prime. I um, want to talk to you about some things that's been going on that uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about. And it's in reference to my um, Samsung Q10 uh, camcorder. Now, many of, many of you have purchased this camcorder based off my previous video from last year. Um, everybody loved it. Everybody thought it was great. The one thing that many people were disappointed or maybe were having some difficulties with is the fact that they cannot seem to encode the video that they record off the camcorder correctly using various video encoding software. Now I do remember I guess in my last tips and, tri tips and tricks video of the Q10 don't use the software that came with the camcorder. It's a basic software, so it does basic things. You will need a more advanced software. Now, um, obviously, there, there are a lot of advanced software out there, like Adobe Elements, um, uh, After Effects, as one called oh, Adobe After After Effects. There's Sony Vegas. There's even, of course, these um, the video making program that came with Windows. Out of all, I've tried all of them except for Sony, because I know Sony, even though it's very powerful, you need to have a degree in Sonyism just to understand that software. So I want to show you what I really use to encode my video. And that, which is now coming up in a few seconds, is PowerDirector. What you're looking at here is PowerDirector 9, even though PowerDirector is up to 10. It does share a few features that power that um, from PowerDirector 9. So we'll use PowerDirector 9 for now. I'd like to give a shout out to Lash Chronicles who was having various difficulties creating her videos. Um, I'm going to pull up one of my libraries. Uh, library video updates. And I'm going to prepare this video update that you guys have already probably seen. And then I think I'll pull in my... Uh, my intro. Actually, no, I'll pull it from the other slide. Now... This I like the most. I like to use it the most on my re video recordings. It comes out perfect um, because I've worked with a couple of the settings, especially the encoding settings. Editing is not is nothing. I mean, everybody knows what it is. As a matter of fact, let me show you what I do when I edit. I'll uh, play back. <coughs> okay. In three, two, one. Then I chip off what I know where it begins. What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime. I pause it. I think I trim off a bit at the end. Stay tuned for more Gundam modeling yet to come. Take care. And then I end that video. So this was a quick video, as you can see. About seven minutes. This is a good uh, example. I always save my work, of course. Uh, new, yeah. Um, yeah, what today's date is, February 13th, 2012, and I go produce, alright, so here's the meat and potatoes of me producing this video. Over here, and I'm sorry if you can't see this, as a matter of fact, I'll zoom in, right there. So you have AVI, you have MPEG-1, MPEG-2, H.264, WMV, MP4, Movie, and I think this is audio file. I've tried all these, and even though this one will work, I like the, and this one will work, I like this one, MPEG-2. Now, default... It will pull the video by default, and the details will be 720 by by 240. But I go to uh, 
I go to customize this because I created my own custom uh, setting. I created a custom profile for my video recording considering that all my video recordings are 1080p. And I have it set to this, 1920 by 1080. Now, what does this tell me? Or how, how, how do you guys figure this out if you have this program? I'm going to edit my custom profile so you guys can see what I have set up here. So it's custom prof profile number one. I'll go to video. Let me zoom in a bit more. So the resolution is set to 1920 by 1080. The mode, I set it to CBR. Now this is where it gets tricky. It, everything matters on the bit rate. Rule of thumb is, the better the bit rate, the better the quality, but larger the file size. This is, uh, originally this was set to the highest one, which was 25,000, which I could have gotten about close to a gig worth of a video on, um, for this, for this uh, encoding. I set it to a default of 10,000. I could change it, give it 11,000, considering that it is a shorter video. I'll save it in a minute. I leave other settings like smoothing and noise removal on, and the speed indicator I keep it on to the highest quality. I could probably leave it at the highest speed, but that's you know you, you could find the middle ground, a uh, middle ground on wherever you want. This frame type I don't know what it is, so I leave that alone. For audio, make sure that audio is set to Dolby Digital. It's channel is stereo and the audio compression rate is set to 256. I believe that this is set by default, so you can leave those alone. It's this part that you want to fiddle around with if you want to encode the video in a smaller you know, frame rate, or you know, um, smaller bit rate. I do this because obviously when, um, at the time, YouTube had a limit of 10 minutes and two gigabytes per video. This me fill around with this reduces that. Now when I hit OK to this, down at the bottom here in the section that you see here that's zooming in, um, right here where it says remaining 573 megabytes it's going to take to make this video. And then I enable Dolby Digital 5.1 and then I will save this to my desktop I always name it the same uh, I always name my videos the same as what I name to save unless otherwise and then I hit start and this video will take about three minutes And that's pretty much it. I've had many problems in the past where my videos were never produced well, but that was because I was limited to the hardware that I had at the time. I had a, a single core processor, an AMD processor at the time, about a little over four years ago when I first started making Gundam model kits uh, for you, uh, you know, on YouTube. Um, at that point, I decided that I needed a new computer. That's why I bought the Alienware. I know. I've gotten so much flag and so much people telling me, why don't I buy any, uh, build my own computer? Why don't I create you? Well, you know what? My previous computer was built by me, supported by me, troubleshooted by me. I got sick and tired of that. And even though you youngsters out there, and yes, I am old, but you youngsters out there can can pretty much figure out what to do and, and are smart and quick and, you know, you're young and fast while I'm old and slow, I could not compete. I didn't feel like it. I, you know, become, I, I'm becoming a, a worry ward and, and, and pissed off and all that shit. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm buying something that I know will work for at least three to four years until I upgrade to something else. My Alienware computer is only a little over two and a half, two and a quarter years old now. It is still running great. Obviously, you can hear the processor going completely bananas. I can deal with that. 
no big deal. It's only going to last for another three minutes. Which I'm letting this thing encode. It's, it's going to be quick. Um, some people say, why don't I use Nero? I remember Nero and I didn't like the features because it was so... Um, you had to prepare a few things here and there before you can encode it and I wasn't too fond of it. Um, Sony, I guess I already explained it to you. Adobe, I wanted to try, but I've been hearing some many people saying they were having difficulties with Adobe. Um, I'm shocked. I was actually considering buying it, but I'm glad I didn't. I've tried. Uh, for those of you who, who are interested in getting encoding software and are not familiar with this program, I would probably recommend you buy the, um, or no, excuse me, download the demo and do some test videos and see if you like it. Oh, and of course, one comment from Lash Chronicles, she told me was that she had she had uh, this program, um, PowerDirector 10, and uh, she couldn't bring down the bitrate down to 10,000. She brought it down to 13,000, which was now the standard. Um, so I would recommend you guys, uh, if those of you who have this uh, Adobe, uh, excuse me, PowerDirector 10, make sure you set set it down to 13,000 bitrate on your uh, videos. Um, I also did tell her that whenever, whenever in doubt, maybe you want to lower down your resolution. Why would you want to go down from 1080 to 720? Well, consider this: 720 is still high def. It still looks good. Um, the camcorders of today will record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. I've seen some camcorders. As a matter of fact, I think the last camcorder, my Blaggy, was had the 1080p at 30, but it also had the 720p at 60. If you see a video in 60 frames per second, or 60 hertz, which is actually considered 60 frames per second, you will be amazed. I think in the, in the last months of me using my um, my Blaggy, I did set it at to 60 hertz, 720. But to tell you the truth, in order for you to get to take a full advantage of a 60 hertz um, um, camcorder, it's only if you're going to be doing high-speed recordings of uh, some sort of sporting events, or um, you know you, you like to do skydiving or, or driving or wind sailing. Or, I'm, I'm you know giving you some examples there. Something that's mo something moving fast. Sporting events is of course the norm these days for uh, high-speed uh, camcorders. Especially your parents out there who want to record your son or your daughter is doing some sort of sports activity or playing or whatever like that because things are moving quickly. So six, the 60 hertz is perfect for that. For what we do, like uh, stationary things, moving, you know, moving about, me building my kits. Um, I think Lash Chronicle, who does uh, uh, beauty work, who does a very good job. She she just is stationary there. She's so she's not going at high speed. Um, <laughs> Um, um, beauty designs on her channel. She just needs something of high quality of visual, uh, you know, of uh, high definition. So as you can see, this thing is done. And, uh, hang on a second. There is the final product. There you go. What's up, Gun Claw Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you another edition of Gundam Model. So there you have it. Those are the settings that you would probably want to do on your Power Director when you want to encode video from your Samsung Q10. I hope this uh, quick tutorial helps you guys out. For those of you who are having difficulties in coding these videos, uh, send me your feedbacks and comments and tell me if the, the settings work. If you found something better, please share with me. Thank you again and stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. Take care.